Mr. President, the good news about tax reform continues to roll in. Wage increases, better benefits, increased investment, employee bonuses. So far, more than 250 companies have announced good news for their employees. Pay hikes, increased retirement contributions or bonuses, and the list continues to grow. Last week, J.P. Morgan Chase, Disney, Starbucks, and FedEx all announced increased investment in American workers. J.P. Morgan Chase announced that it will raise wages for 22,000 workers, add thousands of new jobs, and open 400 new branches in the United States. It also plans to increase its lending to small businesses. Disney will invest in employees' education and provide employee bonuses. Starbucks is raising wages, increasing benefits, and rewarding employees with company stock. And FedEx announced plans to expedite raises and invest $1.5 billion to expand its FedEx Express hub in Indianapolis. It's also making a $1.5 billion contribution to its pension plan. And to top it off, yesterday, ExxonMobil announced that thanks in part to tax reform, it will invest an additional $35 billion into the U.S. economy over the next five years. That means a lot of new jobs and opportunities for American workers. Mr. President, stories like this are why we made business tax reform a key part of the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Obviously, a huge priority was immediately lowering Americans' tax bills, which is why we lowered rates across the board, nearly doubled the standard deduction, and doubled the child tax credit. But our other priority was creating the kind of economy in which Americans can thrive for the long term, an economy that would create good jobs, higher wages, and more opportunities. So how do we go about doing that? Well, the only way for individual Americans to thrive is for American businesses and the American economy to thrive. And so we took action to improve the situation for American businesses. Prior to the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, American businesses, large and small, were weighed down by high tax rates and growth-killing tax provisions. Plus, our outdated international tax rules left America's global businesses at a competitive disadvantage in the global economy. The Tax Cuts and Jobs Act changed all that. We lowered tax rates across the board for owners of small and medium-sized businesses, farms, and ranches. We expanded business owners' ability to recover investments that they make in their businesses, which will free up cash that they can reinvest in their operations and their workers. We lowered our nation's massive corporate tax rate, which up until January 1 was the highest corporate tax rate in the developed world. And we brought the U.S. international tax system into the 21st century by replacing our outdated worldwide system with a modernized territorial tax system so that American businesses are not operating at a disadvantage next to their foreign counterparts. And now, just a month, just a month into the new tax law, we're already seeing the results. Thanks to the new tax law, businesses are seeing a future of growth, and based on those forecasts, they're making plans to invest in their workers, raise wages, create new jobs, and invest in the American economy. AT&T, Boeing, Fiat Chrysler, Bank of America, Home Depot, Great Western Bank, in my state of South Dakota, First Hawaiian Bank, SunTrust Banks, Comcast, American Airlines, Southwest Airlines, Humana, Visa, Nationwide Insurance, JetBlue Airlines. Mr. President, the list of companies announcing good news for American workers thanks to tax reform goes on and on and on. Tech giant Apple announced that as a result of tax reform, it will bring home almost $250 billion in cash it's been keeping overseas and invest it here in the United States. That's good news for the American economy. And it's a direct result of the
the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act. Before the Tax Cuts and Jobs Act, our tax code encouraged American businesses to keep cash overseas. The Tax Cuts and the Jobs Act ended that. Now that we've altered the tax code to remove the penalty for bringing profits home to the United States, we can expect to see more companies bringing profits home and investing in the U.S. economy the way that Apple is. Mr. President, we've seen a tremendous amount of good news this month, but it really is only the beginning. As the benefits of tax reform continue to see, sink in, we expect to see more growth, more jobs, and more opportunities for American workers. And we expect to see the kind of economy that will provide security and prosperity for Americans for the long term. 